guys have done it again introducing Coley AI it's just as simple as you type in in something and the creation comes to life right before your eyes and look it's available to you right now click the link at the top line of the description box right now this is the most amazing app ever Man, we got a breaking story today. Earlier today, everybody was sitting around and CNN dropped some footage of Diddy assaulting Cassie. Um, crazy, crazy video. Made me sick to my stomach when I seen it. Um, somebody actually sent it to me first before I actually checked it out. You know, on, on the blog sites, um, one of the, one of the moderators, pretty gangster, sent it to me. I'm like, I'm looking at like. Put it down, started playing PlayStation again. Like, all right, I'm gonna deal with that shit later. Right, right, right. But um, then you hit me a couple of hours, a while after that. And was like, what'd you say? Diddy was done, I think. Yep. Diddy's done now. Yep. What were your thoughts when you seen that video, man? I don't know when it released. <clears throat> obviously, because you know, I do my thing at night, so I was napping during the day. I wake up, obviously, going, see what's going on in the landscape before we get in here, and it's everywhere, right? Yeah. And I watched the video from 2016. And first and foremost, I'm gonna apologize to Cassie, not because, <clears throat> not because, no, fuck it. Gave off the implication as if this may have been a money grab. Looking at it from its initial point, you getting your ass whipped like that, Miss, is not deserved, man. And we seen one piece. I'm sure there's a lot more, but let's get to what we saw. That was the biggest pile of shit I've ever seen. I don't care. There's no way to condone it. There's no way to look around it. That man went upside that woman's head. That man dragged her by her hair. That man kicked her like he was fighting a dude. And for a man to display that type of power, that type of aggression, that type of just malice toward a woman, I don't, I don't, I don't care in any type of situation. That wasn't a <clears throat> I'm defending myself type situation. We can go back and forth about the defending shit, but that wasn't a defense type situation. You hit her in the back of the fucking head. That's illegal, right? In all aspects. It was just absolutely disgusting. And, um, yeah. This looks. This makes me look at everything involving Diddy completely different. We came on here numerous times and we wanted to stay neutral. And I think for the most part we tried to do our best to remain neutral, right? Give you the other side. But we always said if he's found true, F him, he deserves to get thrown under the jail. I'm at that point now. F Diddy. Yeah. Um, Good on him. <clears throat> I've known people like this. You've known people like this. Who and there's a lot of guys out there that have absolutely no issue, no problem whatsoever with striking a woman, and I don't condone it. I don't condone it not one bit. Um, if she was coming at him with a knife or something like that, he had to defend himself and he had to disarm her. That might be different. He had to put his hands on her. But we all seen the video. It was no situation even close to that. Apparently, he hit her inside the bedroom. She walked out. She was trying to get away from. Him. Looked like she had a back turn. He decked her, knocked her down. Mm. Stomped on her, dragged her. Um, and I'm sure that wasn't the first time that happened. I can't be sure. But usually in those type of situations, that happens a lot. And they were saying he was drunk. He went to a race. He was trying to leave and you know, he beat her up. Um, people like this, man. And if you talk to like police officers and stuff like that, they'll tell you like they get a lot of domestics. But domestic is the most dangerous situations they encounter because of the emotion. And all of the anger and everything that's tied up into that. So um, I will say this, though. It makes him look very, very evil. I would, I would say this, though. Just because it's true that he did that to Cassie doesn't necessarily mean the other stuff that they're alleging that he did is true. There's no proof to that. Right? And it may, some people may come at my neck for saying that. This is enough for me to say, damn. This is enough to be like, yo done with him yeah i can't protect it only reason not even, that's the wrong word to you we weren't protecting him what we were doing was staying neutral right. in the situation and protecting the situation to the point where it's like we ain't had no evidence really we just had allegations at one point yeah we didn't see nothing it was just her word against his so we're like all right you would want this sort of protection if information wasn't out there everybody you want that for your son your dad your sister your brother and yourself you want that that you know People just say, all right, let's just wait and see. But now we've seen with our own eyes. Um, it's sickening, man. I'm almost at a loss of words. It's like, what more do you say about this? It's sickening. And I guess the next question I will leave to you is that it's from 2016. Yeah. 
do you see them maybe pressing the criminal aspect now coming on the table now because now you have an assault on video. Yep. A hundred percent. Yeah. And I think it's warranted. Yeah. That was that was and I'm not listen, I know a lot of people, oh, we talking about this black man, oh, we doing this. Let's not do that right now. Let's not do that right this second. Right. This situation is not distracting <clears throat> us from anything that's going on out here in the world. That was a three minute video. We can watch that video, digest it and clearly see that Diddy, the man, not the black man, he doesn't represent all of us. Him in particular has a serious issue, and he needs to be held accountable for that issue, right? Right. Dude was wrong, man. Like, yeah, that's it, wrong. It, that's it, wrong. That's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. You wouldn't want that to happen to your mother. You wouldn't want that to happen to your sister, your aunt, your daughter. You wouldn't want that going down. I don't care how crazy she was. I don't care how much she went through. It's I don't care what the circumstances were in that situation. If it wasn't a circumstance where she was at him with a gun, at him with a knife, right. at him with a bottle, busting him upside the head, where well, we could kind of discuss a defense of yourself situation, nah. She had her back turned. She was trying to leave, and you in a drunken rage went in there and felt the power to do that. That's wrong, dog, and there's no way to get around it. And... I, I, I can definitely see this if it hasn't already led to something criminal come out. Now, let me ask you this, because yeah, yeah. two days ago, right. he came on this platform and talked about this. He knows something we don't. Let me have to delete that. <laughs> if he knows something we don't, right. how does this talk on the psyche of this man, knowing he was doing this kind of shit, but now yeah. starting to get active and start talking as if nothing happened? What do you think Remember about that? Remember what I said in that video, though, and it is ironic because... You showed me a video before we came in here, of him and, and Polite. Mm -hmm. Another, when I was saying what I was saying the other day about narcissists and people being dead wrong, but still act like they ain't do nothing, it's the narcissism part of it. Like, I'm untouchable. Yeah, I did it. What you going to do about it? And that's, I think, what we see with Diddy right now. Rich, powerful, he got money. Look, they can't, they raided the crib, but this shit, they ain't do shit yet. To me, this was a strategic move by the feds. We said it the other day. You don't want to taunt the feds. We said that on this channel. People sure will listen to that. And I think they, they was holding this shit. And they said, all right, we're going to give it to CNN and put it out. That's only how they got it. CNN didn't get this shit. The feds had to get this shit. Or somebody leaked it to CNN, the people that worked at that particular hotel. My guess is that Cassie told them about the incident. They pulled the tape, how they got the tape. But nevertheless, the tape is out. Um, dudes like this. and the scare, I'm going to tell you the scary part about situations like this. Is that usually when you see situations like that, it's not the first time or the first woman. Not the first time or the first woman that that people do this to. You, you know people that have been in relationships and they got they got a history of whooping their woman's ass. Yep. Whatever woman they get with, they beating that ass. Yep, unfortunately. And I've known people like that. I never condoned it. I never liked it. I always, you know, kind of shot away from that because I never want to be involved in anything like that. That type of, you know, energy and atmosphere. You know what I mean? When, when you have to get into a fight with a woman to beat on your woman. So, um, it's sad. And, and, you know, as well as Cassie, I would say, you know, apologies too here because, you know, it's one thing when you get these stories and we get so many different, you kind of get desensitized and you see all these women coming out and you start to think, all right, this shit might be a lie. But when you see it with your own two eyes, there's no denying it. Yeah. And I, we ain't got no problem offering apologies and right. knowing when we were wrong. And we, look, listen, like you said, we live in a society right now where you got to do this. You got to question yeah. what you yeah. see. Yeah, <clears throat> Simply because we're so manipulated all the time and there's so many narratives being stared that you got to get the other side. But when you see facts on the table, ain't no, ain't nobody AI generate that security footage of him whipping that woman's ass. That, that, that was right there, cut and dry, black and white. Now, if we sat on here and tried to defend that shit, oh, Lord. Yeah, we got some issues. Because there's no defending It'd be somebody that. who's going to defend it. You, oh, oh, 100%. Yeah. I see people defending it now. People we fuck with. Wow. And I don't get it. Wow. But that's them. Well, what kind of stuff are they saying without putting their name out there? I mean, they just, they're, they're trying <clears throat> to de deflect the Diddy situation and put blame on the Harvey Weinsteins, put blame on the Nickelodeons, put blame on the powers that be that run certain things, that we know the evil that they do. And we talk about the evil that they do at nauseum. And we don't take away from that that disgusting shit that they do. It doesn't take away from that. But this one man in this situation, this isolated man in this isolated situation, no matter what color, is a fucking monster, dog. Yeah, and the thing, the crazy part about that is like, 
I'm going to be blunt. We don't give a shit about Harvey Weinstein like that, our culture. We care about Diddy, Jay-Z's, people that is our, of our hue for the most part. That's in our culture. Harvey Weinstein is a, is some, doing some shit with movies and shit. And yeah, we care about what he did to people and stuff, but it's like it's not the same effect as a Diddy. And, and the proof of the pudding is, if you put a video up of Harvey Weinstein doing that, it wouldn't get as much views as a Diddy doing that because that we into this shit. Like this entertainment for us, you know, which is sad for the masses. It's posted everywhere. People are commenting everywhere. It's dominating the algorithm now. Why is that? Right? If a video came out of Harvey Weinstein doing it, people wouldn't care as much. Don't mean not saying it don't mean as much to the victims, but we just don't care about shit like that in this culture. And it's sad, I think, but we care more about Diddy. You know, being taken down and Diddy hitting a Diddy doing this that we do up by the Harvey Weinstein or another white person doing it. That's just what it is. That's and their I, community, they ain't they not tearing him down like that, Harvey Weinstein like that, for what I've seen for the most part. At all. At all. They letting the chips fall where they may <clears throat> and keeping their goddamn mouth shut. Yeah. Outside of the victims, ain't nobody really saying shit. Right. But we control we control the algorithm. Exactly. There you go. We control the algorithm. <laughs> what I mean by we is our culture. <clears throat> They don't have a black Twitter fucking documentary on Hulu for nothing. They don't try to manipulate us or try to get our sway to vote for nothing. We don't have the biggest amount of uh, uh, money going into the economy for nothing. We run this shit. Yep. But we so tore up inside that we run it for them instead of running it for ourselves. Man. And in this situation, this is why we have to make sure that we kind of call it right down the middle until facts are shown, which they clearly have right now. Yeah, because <clears throat> the way this the, the, the way this culture moves and this the way we control the algorithm, if we start running with a narrative, that narrative, no matter what facts are, is true, and that's dangerous. That's a fact. You know, what I'm saying it's very dangerous. And until we kind of get a control of that, it's going to continue to be dangerous. That's why you can see sexy reds, and I'm not going to go off in a tangent. We can go off for that all day, but this is why you see what you see and how we move and how we moving and how we looked at how we're looked at. But what do you, what do you how, how what, what do you think? So we got to get out of here soon. The gavel being passed, because at this point we both think that it's going to be some criminal shit coming eventually. Now that this video's out, and it's been out for eight years, but now we're finally seeing it, which is another interesting point. Yeah, it is. What do you think's happening and how fast? Um, I think that ind- indictment's getting ready to come down. That federal indictment is getting ready to drop soon. You know, um, Again, when we were talking the other day and talking before, we didn't have nothing concrete. We just had people's speculation and allegation. And then if you look at this thing over the last few days, everything was falling in Diddy's favor. Yeah. You know, the, the dude that put the um, lawsuit, the producer guy, he was starting to look crazy because he was going after um, the dude Lucian Grange and um, Universal. That shit got dropped. He still looked crazy, by the way. Yeah, he still looks crazy. not saying he don't. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But shit started going. Diddy popping out, showing his baby. And remember, um, Mr. White, we had him on here and he said, if he was working with Diddy, he would go through the process of humanizing. And that's what Diddy was kind of doing, yep. making him like a human. He yep. holding his daughter. Yep. Y'all riding the bike. I'm a human being. I'm not some monster. Now, mm. it's the chess, not checkers. Boom. I knocked. I knock your pawn over, right? I knock it over now. Put this video out. Now you're a monster now, Diddy. Mm. So what, what can we do now, you know what I'm saying, to try not for your image not to be tarnished at this point because at this point I think it's that's it. People seen that shit, that's it, man. Um so yeah, criminal case coming I think soon. If not for anything at least for this, but this I think will be added on to the whole federal thing like it's just to balloon that up and you know put him behind bars real, real soon. Every expert that we talked to agreed that, you know, federal cases will be falling on Diddy. Every expert. Esquire Shabazz strikes again. Um, man, let me. Um, I want to talk about this. Let's just put a pin in this. We could talk about it on Monday. I get depth in on Monday. The silence amongst his peers, and I'm, what I mean by that is how many people knew, how many people held him accountable, how many people stayed quiet, and how many people should be called out because of it. We like kind of talked about it on Monday. One, he has to be one of them. I he was, has to be one of them. I was talking because look, if you, I'm not saying that Jay Z's guilty of anything, but. They was thick as thieves, bro. So is he guilty of silence? And I don't mean to cut you off, but um, it's silence guilt. No, no, because you can't say nothing mm-hmm. at this point. You now it's like, what do you expect him to say? We don't know what was said behind the scenes either. But it, I we don't know how he was. Che- we don't know what I mean by that is we don't know if right. Jay Z was saying something to check him, knowing that maybe Diddy had a problem behind the scenes, 
Or he went, yo, that's none of my fucking business. I got my own shit. Like, we don't know those ins and outs. Anything he says right now is going to be like, like I said, it's going to be used against you. Unless he comes out and totally denounces Diddy, which I don't see that happening. Nah. You know? I don't see that happening. And I think a part of this that we got to look at as well is that, you know, this type of stuff happens, man. Like, it's domestic violence that go on. What if that was your father? What if that was your brother? How, how would we look at the situation then? Will we call him a monster? Will we say throw him away? Or will we say, bro, go get some help? But well, this is sick. And that's what, what I'm saying. Do? Right. How many, how many of those brothers, how many of the Jay-Z's, how many of the Michael Rubens, how many right. of the Meek Mills, how many of the Ushers knew? Yeah. And yeah. I'm not saying come out here and because if you were out here whipping your woman's ass, which you're not. Right. right. But if you were, mm-hmm. and, and no one's closer to me than you are, I would check you off camera, but I would never come on this camera and say anything right. about it. Right. Ever. Right. Even if you were found guilty, I don't think I'd ever come on this camera. Right. So I understand right. that aspect, but I wonder yeah. how what, what conversations we're having in private. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's very interesting. We we'll probably never know that. Yeah. Fact. Um, but the, the part I'm kind of leading to is like, damn, Jay, like, and it's not fair to really put Jay in this like that at all. I yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, you ain't know this. You ain't seen none of this. You guys are partying together, all types of stuff. You well, see I, something, bro. Yeah. Yeah, a man. Lot of drunk, not, if, if Diddy acting like this off a of drunk rage, how many drunk nights did he have out there partying with uh, 97% of them were probably drunk nights? How many times were you loose and comfortable? I, I don't want to speculate, but seeing that footage and knowing motherfuckers like that, we yeah. already know. People get, I remember one time, real quick, I know we're short on time. Yeah. One of my boys, you're going to remember this story. We driving. He see his girl out with another set of girls. Oh, he man. tells me to go around to the girls. So I pull up over there. He's talking to his girlfriend. Out of nowhere, he grabs her head and slams it up against my car door. Oh, my God. I stopped the car. I said, dog, if you ever do that in front of me again, I'm fucking you up. Right. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't do shit like that. Right. right. Young boy at the time. He was 17, 18 years old. Probably dealt with the shit growing up. I don't know his home life. But I checked his ass immediately, made sure Shorty was okay, and got the fuck up out of Dodge. Because it's like, yo, don't you ever do no shit like that in front of me again. I will whip your ass. That ain't cool, dog. You could have killed her. And now you got me involved in some stupid shit because you don't know how to control your motherfucking emotions. Right. So for him to be comfortable enough to do that in public, how many times in a drunk situation may Diddy have been comfortable in public exactly. and exactly. check, you know what I mean, Cassie, because he felt the need to check her? It's, this is going to be an ongoing thing. He got an interview coming up, but this is going to be ongoing because now is Diddy going to stay silent? Is he going to try to address it? Like, what's going to be, is his lawyer going to talk? What's going to be the next chess move on or off the board for Diddy? In this situation, what's the next move? And I can't wait to see it. We're definitely going to be reporting on it. And we definitely, you know, as the situation escalates, we'll be bringing some people on probably to talk about it, talk about other things, and, um, you know, as, you know, as things continue to um, move forward. So Indeed. crazy situation. I um, hope that everybody enjoyed what we said here on the podcast and make sure hopefully you were doing it while we were talking. But if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button on the video. If you get a chance, share it. Share it with somebody. Share it on your Twitter feed. Share it on your Facebook feed. We definitely appreciate you guys. With that being said, that's Sam Man of Our Hip Hop News. And your brother, oh God, Hip Hop News Uncensored, together with the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast. Over.